Good morning. Welcome to Mickey and My Craft. This is your host, Helda. Yeah, I'm speaking slowly, uh, low voice, because I got two babies sleeping. This is a continuation of last night's video where I show you how to resolve an issue when the poor glue doesn't hit uh, the symbol, when they pour on the side of the symbol. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to seal this. And then we're going to put this basket inside. Not the whole basket, but the content of the basket. Um, so the first thing when you finish this, you check that your bees are aligned with the symbol and nothing is showing. And then you... I use a roll for everything. This is a must do for everything. So once I do that, I this is a baby, the half of a baby swap, uh, wipe. So once I do that, I clean up, you know, for possible tapping. Because you might move the the drills or, or the special drills so once i do that i look at on the side to see if there is anything and what i use i'm sorry i i got the wrong bottle okay i got back with a correct bottle <laughs> i was going to show you a bottle of white paint acrylic so this is what I'm using. Liquitex High Gloss Varnish. I will put the link below in the description box. And I use this one on a special item like this because this will keep the softness of this. If I use Mod Podge, it's gonna make it stiff. and I don't want that on this case. And in this case, I'm using The big brush. This is a set that I bought. This is a smaller one um, uh, from Mod Podge. So what you do is, you don't have to check it. I just check it for the heck. So you just pour a good amount, but not too much. And I want to give it the shine to the part, uh, I mean, to the background. Um, so let me pour some more. You just spread it all around. Make sure it goes between your beads. I like this. I don't... I watched a whole bunch of videos and I decided uh, to be practical. So this is what you will always see me or, uh, um, using for sealing, except for the big canvases. I use Mod Podge, but I do the same process. Uh, the only thing is on the big canvas, I do one section at a time. I pour the, I hope you guys seen this. I pour the mop Podge, right? And uh, make sure it goes in the drills. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's getting cold over here. So once I do that, I take the baby wipe and I kind of tap it. Oh, and got moved. 
as you have to be careful. So I just tap it on the top because I don't want the drills to lose their natural shine. But I'm gonna give it a second coat. So I'm gonna let that one dry for now. And we're gonna talk about my um, organization storage. I mean, organizing the drills. Okay. When a canvas comes in, a diamond painting comes in, I'll take it out of the box or unbag it or whatever. And whatever document they bring, I'm going to show you with a DAC sample, um, but also from the ones in China, like the inventory sheets that they come in, I'll take, i make a copy of it. So after checking the canvas, I'll take this, right? And I make a copy of it. I put the receipt date, the starter date, and the completed. Also, I have a notebook which I use to put the information of the day receipt and by whom. Um, once I'm ready to keep this up, uh, what I do is I cut this, I put it in the container, and then I use this as my guide, like for example, you have I have any ABs or anything, I will mark it over here. And once I um, made the copy and receive it, I put the original inside, I put it in a, a rubber band, and I keep it over there. And like I said, when I'm ready to kit it up, I use that copy to write in the ABs, and um, whatever uh, special, uh, like the sparklers, which ones I'm gonna use or whatever. Although I usually, you know, when I'm doing the canvas, even though if I write the ABs or sparkle over here, not necessarily means that I'm gonna use them. All depends how it looks in the canvas, okay? So, uh, these only need about a few minutes and I'm seeing that some areas didn't catch the but I can catch that the, the next time I give it a while before um, about half an hour 35 minutes so when that's dry we come back and make a a second uh, coat on it okay so I was able to kit up the other one and check it for um, any problems with the glue and everything was okay this is dry you know how you know it because you don't feel it sticky on the outside so we have to emphasize this size now because uh, And we're going to give it another coat. And that's it. But as you can see, we we'll still need to dry in some areas over here. But I'm going to give that the other coat. And... Uh, and let it dry a long time before uh, it's kind of spreading a good amount. Making sure that it goes between the beads I mean the drill, the special drill, drills. I keep saying the beads. <laughs> it's kind of uh, milky white. It's like a skim milk. This uh, 
wipe the excess. You can wipe the excess in a paper towel. The thing is, it's going to give a shine to the background. Okay, so again, I just tap it so you won't lose the, the natural shine. I will clean it up again when I uh, when it gets dry. So I'm going to leave it all day to dry real good and then I will come back and show to see all that fitting there. So I'm going to, the next video is going to be a continuation of this, okay? The only thing is it's going to be done later on. In the meantime, you have a wonderful day. Um, I hope you like it and subscribe. And I see you later in the day. Bye. Hello, this is continuation of the previous video. Um, I'm doing this so late because I got a few things to do during the day that I didn't want to make two parts video. So this is the one that I show you about the problem with the with one of the areas not having the glue on the on the symbol so i just finish it and then i mean we finish it and i show you in a video how to seal it and as you can see this will move right and i did this one the same thing but this one was okay except for those a spot but doesn't matter you know it's no biggie. It could be part of the design. So they are so pretty. And if you can see, they don't lose their own shine when you put the liquid text, as long as you wipe them out. Okay? They don't lose their shine. So we're going to try to put this whole uh, unkeated drills that I have on my organization system because I'm trying to make it you know a smaller space let's see how many uh will fit in there um we have January February and one from March so let's start with the January's one I just want to put them standing up, right? You see this? Let's see how they do. January 21st, so this one will come first. You 
inside February. February 6th. This is February 12th. Put these two sticks together 12 or 27 and it seems like i have plenty of space to put another month so let me go on the side real quick and grab because i cannot find the or oh, his uh february 12. still will fix some more I got March, uh, the one from March, and I got April and May in there. So, uh, so this is March. So I don't want to fill it up too much, though. But if I can fit more than one month in here. That would be great. I mean, more than two months. That's the thing. This is May. That's a hair that doesn't go there. That's April 1st. Too tight either. Yeah, that would be good. I think it's only one April 15 and May 15. So you can imagine from a expanded uh, basket, which takes a lot of pl pl place, and I can do this one. I did it backwards. Because I should have had the... <laughs> I am doing all these things backwards. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let me take these ones out. <laughs> Let me put them back again. Duh, Hilda. God, Jesus Christ. That's Marge. Let me take the ones up front. 121. I'm looking for 129. I'm gonna put it side by side. 129. Oh, this is April. Uh, then we have this is 227. I need two six. Yep. Six. 
seven. And we got March. Some of them are going to be higher than the other ones because they have a lot of um, which one is this one? 212 okay this is 212 325 325 right 212 or 227 uh oh Where's my 227? There it is. This one should be in here. And then goes 227. And 325. And then 410. Oh, no, no, 410. 41. Because I'll be doing this, grabbing by, by road, by row. Um, four ten, four fifteen. and the other four fifteen. Now we are okay. <laughs> you see, it holds up pretty good. Maybe I can put some more in here. Well, it just depends on the amount of drills. But this is how I uh, set up the drills. Uh, you will say, where is the canvas? Well, <laughs> I'll show you a picture. Is in the ceiling yet? <laughs> Could I have more DACs? Here's another one for 15. No, it's a spam too much. I don't like it. I'd rather have it like that. Like this. It's so nice. So I'm going to do the other one and um, thank you for watching. I hope you like it. Um, here is my basket full of unkeated drills and uh, have a wonderful night and remember love and peace. Bye.